in 2018, a crack YouTube unit was sent to social media prison by an algorithm for the crime they didn't commit. These producers promptly escaped from a maximum security social media stockade to the internet underground. Today, still wanted by social media, they survive as producers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the Smash Team. Hey, check it out, viewers. Here's a little extra for you. We got some coverage from Volcano YTS, another YouTube channel. Got great stuff. Got some footage of Popo Cut the Pedal. It's got a full screen view of that. Here comes the eruption. Let's just give it a minute here. Popo Cut the Pedal. Interruption. There it goes. They see the pulse. Nice. Sudden pulse up there through the volcanic ash cloud. And now following that pulse, you see a little bit of ejecta. Got some separate angles there. This thing's been producing 10 to 20,000 foot ash plumes for quite a few months. Hope I got the pedal. We'll leave links in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Some of these are live webcams, by the way. Just wanted to show you a link on the Space Weather Enthusiast dashboard, which we look at daily. Some stuff besides the X-ray imager and the LASCO and the Enlil prediction and the electron flux and the Aurora predictions. Scroll up to the top and check this one out. Click subscribe. We just set this up yesterday because we look at the data every day ourselves anyway, but we just wanted to see how this stuff works to give our subscribers some indication. <clears throat> Click on subscription, on subscribe rather, which will bring you to the subscription services page. You see, here's uh, the massive increase in subscription services as they are now inversely following this, the uh, solar cycles. All you do is you click on this subscribe now button and then you pick which subscriptions you want. We set them all up yesterday to see how it would work and it seems to work just fine. Um, if you subscribe to them all, that's 51 subscriptions. We don't recommend doing that, but we did it anyway because we wanted to see what the result would be. Next, how about a sciencealert.com article about China's creepy ass social credit system which has already stopped millions from traveling. And by the way, companies like Google have agreed to help them spy on their people to a larger extent. We'll leave links to the article. But in any case, China has a social credit system going on. And believe me, you want no part of it. I mean, you're a Facebook troll and now you can't book a plane ticket? That seems a little crazy, because it is. Now, <clears throat> anybody familiar with Tabby's star? It's a pretty famous star. It was in the news recently again because of occultation. Well, what's occultation, you ask? It's when we look at a star and it gets covered up. Now we see all kinds of variable stars. This is one of the weirder kinds. And this is a basically an artist rendition here of the kind of occultation we see on this thing. So it's pretty mysterious. There are some logical explanations. But in any case, Epic 20437607171, another great name for a star. Thank you, astronomers. Epic 
gets even more interesting. It dimmed nearly 80%. So check out the article, sciencealert.com, weird stars. How about some headlines on Zero Hedge? We're just going to show you the headlines here. Everybody knows about ZeroHedge.com. Ocasio-Cortez regrets costing New York City 25,000 jobs. Democrats used to be pro-jobs. Now they're just anti-business. Also, uh, there was another story we wanted to cover. Let's see if we can find the headline. That's right, Kylie Jenner. Yes, we wanted to congratulate Kylie Jenner for her recent admission into billionaire status. The world's youngest self-made billionaire, well done. Now, some Democrats would suggest that she is immoral for making a billion dollars in about three years. We'd like to congratulate her. Well done, Kylie Jenner. Congratulations. Please allocate those resources intelligently. Here we got a Fizz.org article here talking about Kepler Space Telescope's first exoplanet candidate confirmed 10 years after launch. Now, there's a reason why we don't cover exoplanets too much on our channel, and that's largely because until the sun's structure and function is something that is understood on a more mainstream level and not as misunderstood as it is today, I don't see the purpose of looking for extrasolar planets. Yes, it is part of astronomy, however, I would prefer to know what's going on nearby as opposed to far away. For instance, similar to the fact that we know more about the surface of the moon than we know about the bottom of the oceans. Anyway, we'll leave links to the article also. Just look in the description when you're in the process of pressing things like like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Guess who's building a larger laboratory? It's CERN. Yes, it's CERN. And guess what they're looking for? Dark matter. And guess what they're not going to find? Dark matter. Here's the article. We'll leave links. And last but not least, without warning. Sorry about that. Couldn't resist. How about an article from Ben Shapiro? Washington Post fact checker declines to give AOC Pinocchios after she lies about her idiotic Green New Deal FAQ. But things Trump. Let's just ignore all that. And look at Trump's quote. I think it's very important for the Democrats. Wait, that was the Bernie Sanders, sorry. Trump says, I don't do impersonations, except of Bernie. I think it's very important for the Democrats to press forward with their Green New Deal. <laughs> it would be great for the so-called carbon footprint to permanently eliminate all planes, cars, cows, oil, gas, and the military, even if no other country would do the same. Brilliant. And we couldn't agree more. The Green New Deal. Anyway, I'm going to go watch some more public up the pedal erupting. And then I'm going to go look at some more solar activity. So, don't forget to check out Volcano YTS. By the way, we highly recommend Brave Browser. A browser designed to not track you. And last but not least, far from least, is the magnetogram of this oddly oriented parallel to the solar equator polarity sunspot. This is just today, the most recent images. We'll let that play through a few times. For your enjoyment. As we do see some shifts in the intensity there. Especially the green section associated with the North Pole. Slash negative polarity magnetic fields.
Thanks for watching. And remember, when you're on your edge of the seat regarding solar cycles, don't drink. And if you drink, don't be on the edge of your seat with solar cycles. Because we'll cover it for you. And then we'll tell you not to drive. This is $50,000.